Hello guys, I'm Roman and you're watching the follow-up video of XUAV1. Today I'm gonna talk about something I didn't want to talk uh, so much uh, in my uh, review. I will talk about the boom prop mechanism. In my first video you saw that the boom prop, boom prop mechanism uh, is making uh, too much noise and uh, this is uh, because uh, the spool gears from the motor uh, is uh, aluminum and uh, from the mechanism is um, plastic and it has uh, it is not um, greased uh, there is uh, no grease inside and uh, that make uh, uh, too much noise and also um, uh, damage the, the plastic gears uh, I've talked with my friends uh, which are better than me in mechanics and uh, they uh, told me that uh, the gears should be uh, greased so um, I've put uh, a little bit of grease inside, silicone grease and uh, it is already much better uh, this is a um, cons, let's say, uh, from the XUIV side uh, because they didn't uh, tell about it and uh, they don't uh, suppose it should be greased. The second uh, downside of this mechanism is that uh, it is uh, fixed on the boom uh, through holes. Let's, uh, there are two bolts here that uh, is holding the mechanism uh, that these bolts are going through a uh, tail boom and um, this uh, uh, prevent you from sliding the mechanism in or out to adjust your CG. Another um, user on RC Groups, uh, you may know it, Jan Davidson, sent me his version of Boom Probe. I have it right here. As you can see, this Boom Probe looks much, much bigger than uh, than original Boom Probe. Uh, I will call it uh, duty heavy uh, prop uh, it feels so smooth it feels uh, without any um, slope inside and uh, what's uh, good about this it can be slided um, on the boom prop to adjust your CG of course for the XUAV1 you will uh, not need to move it uh, to back because the CG is quite uh, aft but um, in other planes you may uh, want to use it uh, it will uh, really uh, you will really benefit uh, the ability to slide the boom prop um, forward or um, to the rear i have installed another one here on the plane as you can see it it is but use a belt uh, the noise of this one is much quieter you will watch now in the video um, how quiet it is compared to uh, the noise made in my uh, first video review That's about the, um, the boom prop. Uh, I will tell you about another feature I built uh, on this plane. Is this bottle nose? I call, I call it. Uh, it is made uh, uh, from a piece of uh, bottle made by uh, by me to fit uh, this nose because uh, the gimbal nose that XUAV1 supplied uh, got damaged a few times. It can be repaired, but uh, I didn't like it uh, so much. This uh, bottle nose uh, is uh, weighing about uh, 20 grams 
while the original uh, nose is weighing about uh, 113 grams and for uh, this one we have to adjust the CG by adding another um, 140 grams of raw weight here in the nose uh, actually it is uh, metal we add uh, here uh, to balance the plane uh, if you like this uh, nose I can share with you the STL files uh, I even shared them already on the RC groups uh, so you can build your own uh, it is a good replacement and uh, if you don't really want to risk with your original uh, gimbal uh, nose guys this is all i had to show you in this video as a conclusion i want to say that the boom prop mechanism of ian davidson is so much an improvement over the original xuav boom prop mechanism even it is a little bit bigger and heavier as you saw the plane is much quieter now and the vibration are less due to the fact of how it is mounted on the tail boom it moves the cg by a little amount to the rear but that will allow you to install a bigger battery in the nose. Considering there is no much room to play with the battery, this is just another benefit. And remember, you can always slide it on the boom so you can play with the CG without moving the components. Also Jan's design uses a different ratio. It is 1.8 to 1, which again has a small benefit for the ones like me who flies on 3S batteries. Belt drive mechanism is also a pro because the gears will not wear out. Once again, I want to say thank you to Jan who kindly offered to send me his boom prop to test out. Now I'm sure that what have XUAV tried to copy is a good idea but not as a good implementation, unfortunately. Ok guys, if you like the video, please show me by liking it or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.